This is a conclusion of a 10 minute training series on binary in C sharp. As a recap, we learned about binary basics, bit shifting, and or not, exclusive or mass, clearing bits, flags, and flag manipulation. We learned a lot of stuff here. So where do you go from here? Well, first of all, this series is broken up into 10 minute training videos for a reason. You've gone through the entire thing, that's great. Now you can use this as reference material so that when you go, wait a minute, what's an exclusive or how does it work? You have a specific video that's less than 10 minutes that you can go and watch and say, oh yeah, that's right, that's how that works. And if you get stuck on, you know, more in depth things where you're like, oh, I forget the prerequisites for this and no problem, just go through the whole series again. It's a very short series. But the point here is you now have a reference tool to keep coming back to so that you don't get stuck. And if it's time to go for a job interview, this might be one of those things to kind of review just because people like to ask tricky questions. This is a tricky subject. Um, and so you kind of get a leg up on that, even though I don't really love the idea of trying to be tricked in a job interview. Okay. So also don't forget there is underneath each of the videos where there's source code, there is a link to get that source code. So definitely take advantage of that. And if you want to go further in C sharp, don't forget a C sharp master course, I really recommend as the place for pretty much everyone to start. And even if you're a seasoned developer, a C sharp master course can be really helpful because what it does is it eliminates almost every, if not every one of your gaps in the foundation of what you need to know for C sharp. Okay. So it really sets you up well in a structured manner to learn C sharp well, to fill in gaps if you've learned C sharp on your own or through other sources and make sure that you're job ready. Because the whole point of learning really should be to do something with what you've learned. Maybe you just wanna build apps for fun, that's great. But maybe you want to be employed or be better employed, um, whether it be at your current job or in a new job. Well, getting a great foundation setting up yourself to have a solid foundation that you're confident in is a great place to be. So I'd encourage you to check that out if you want to keep going. But make sure you use this, bookmark this. It's a it's a whole playlist on YouTube. So make sure you bookmark the playlist. That way you can keep coming back to it, use it as a reference guide so that you can be confident in working with binary in C sharp.